there beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Atancho Lovin and you're heartily welcome back to my channel today we're going to be preparing a very simple recipe commonly known in Cameroon as granite sweet but you can also call it candied peanut or sugar coated peanut it's a common snack that you can always have in your cupboards for visitors or even for the household so we have the following ingredients displayed here we have two cups of granite a cup of sugar half a cup of water and just a pinch of salt and the salt is optional so you can leave this out so we are going to go into the recipe immediately so we already have our pan on the cooker and we're going to put two cups of granules followed by one cup of sugar followed by our pinch of salt which is optional and half a cup of water so before we move ahead these are some things to note I've chosen this procedure because it's easy and direct you can also start by frying or baking the granules at the very beginning for 10 minutes you can bake in the oven for 10 minutes or fry for 10 minutes before you dive into this procedure but this is also appropriate and to achieve that crispy or the crunchy nature of the granules you have to leave it to cool for a longer period of time and the end results are always the same so we take the simple and easy procedure which is this so we're going to stir continuously till the sugar crystallizes or gets uh, coated onto the peanuts and crystallizes so I'm going to show you guys the consistency of the water and sugar mix as we proceed so I have my cooker on medium high heat and I stir continuously till the end of the process It's still very light. The mixture is still very light, so we continue stirring. So the water sugar mixture is getting thicker. So you can see that the consistency is changing, it's becoming more thicker. So we continue stirring like this. When you can stir and view the under part of the pot clearly, you drop your heat a bit, just a bit. Because it's getting real, guys. This is the point at which it's getting real. So you can see the you can see the bottom part of your pan so you drop your heat so the crystallization process starts the coating process is becoming intense as you all can see I hope you guys can appreciate this through the lens very well. So this is it guys. Oh my gosh. So We've come to the end so now we're gonna let it cool so we have our final product here and it's very important that you let this cool for like two to three hours to attain the crispy nature thank you for watching guys enjoy bye bye